High Price Team, Adam Ruff here again with Dustin. Dustin, how are you doing today? Good. <laughs> so, how long you been at Price? Three years. Three years, my ass. <laughs> how long total? Uh, all together, about 20. 20 years. Um, you started here, what, back in high school or yeah. something like that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I was 17. How did you get introduced to Price in high school? Work release program high school ended up being like one of my classes yeah so they just found you a place to work or how did that all i worked at the shop with angie price jeremy's yeah. sister cleaning the shop and get putting stuff away and that's kind of how i got to know all the parts and pieces of that's used in the electrical yeah and then after graduation you started what working full-time started working with todd siebel's out doing residential yeah. uh, and john noison back when he worked here yeah you know? residential but i i wasn't 18 yet so i couldn't uh use power tools all i could do is basically pull phone and cable yeah but then you did residential for a little while a few years yeah wasn't it? about four years or so because yeah. then after the first two then i think john uh jason miller and brian miller came in and kind of took that over and i worked with them for a couple of years yeah and then you went to, you were doing commercial, industrial, everything. Uh, I started working, I was working residential during the day, and then there were some night shifts that I jumped on doing traffic signals. Oh, yeah. And just kind of bounced back and forth until eventually I moved out of the residential and went straight traffic signal. Traffic. And then there was also working commercial and industrial holidays and stuff. I'd help at PMX or... Yeah, I remember the EFCO, like... <laughs> that job working was with fun. Yeah, Kelly. working with Kelly Huffracker. I was out there for about six months with Paul Hatta and Kelly Huffracker running five inch rigid. Yeah, yeah. I think you're one of like very few people still here that has done about everything at the company. There isn't probably anything here you haven't really done. Everything except for actual splicing of fiber. Yeah, that's crazy. So what got you interested in the trades? Uh, back in high school, I was always interested in like stereo systems and yeah. hooking up friends' stereo systems and cars and whatnot. But uh, talking with the teachers in high school, they, since I was interested in that, they thought it'd be a good fit to try Price Electric as, as a work program. Yeah. And worked there for, I don't remember, maybe six months or so. and. Really liked the guys that I worked around, Doughboy and Todd and Carl when he was here. And yeah. Jeremy was a great guy to work for and Angie Price. So I ended up asking Jeremy one day to, I wasn't out of high school yet, but I asked him if he'd hire me because I was working for free. Yeah. And uh, he agreed. And then I basically, I graduated January of 2003, graduated early and started full time. Full time, that's not got in early and then you went through the apprenticeship program all that stuff too after i turned 18 yeah i had to skip the first year that i was here because i wasn't 18 yet so i had to wait till that following year yeah because yeah your old jt hours don't count until you're 18. weren't you one of the original drill crew people uh when the utility side was starting uh yeah it was me and brent I remember you and Brent, especially out of, um, like in Iowa City. There was a few other guys that aren't here, but yeah, we kind of we volunteered to jump on that and try something different, get that going, and then once it took off, I hired some other people to take over, and and then Brent and I, like Craig Speltz, when he was here too, he was one of yeah, them. But right. then we all kind of went back to commercial and uh, traffic traffic signals. signals, doing all that. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, doesn't seem like that long ago, but it was, uh, it was a while ago. We're getting old. I think it was pretty <laughs> much when I moved out, uh, Darren came to start locating and taking my spot, yeah. doing the drilling. And then once he took that over, then I moved back to traffic signals. Yeah. And what? high voltage terminations. Oh, yeah. Fuck, that was EFCO. That was fun. EFCO and the the east well field all the oh, well fields yeah, along the, well the cedar field. river there was like three three years in a row we did 
high voltage projects down there. I like that well field project. Just you're in town, but you're out in the woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was nice down there. What's uh, what's one of your most memorable projects that you worked on? I would say the FCO. FCO. There was yeah. a lot of experience there between five inch rigid and every single weekend for those six months we were there. There's we had guys down. come down, we did a shutdown, and we pulled big wire in. And everyone was a lot different, yeah. and they all... It was, a, it was, what I remember, it was like a lot of hard work, but it was fun. Yeah, like, everybody got along great. We had a good time. That was, I mean, Kelly's good for that shit. But we got a lot of shit. This is what we got to get done. Let's have fun doing it. And Yeah. That was fun. We did a lot of terminations. That's what I remember. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did for. And then pulling the wire that was comical some days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hooking the tugger up using forklifts or anything that was around. Yeah, we talk about lean and waste. There, remember we they had the wire links yep. cut ready to go because they couldn't pull links in the pipe pipe because we had to pull out the existing wire and then pull in new yeah it was all up and running until the day of the shutdown and uh, it all had to be cut how to many, length and how many times did we pull new wire in and then wasn't long enough and then pulled it out pulled the old in and fucking had to get a new wire length that was that's what i remember i think it always went to plan <laughs> i remember that time that day we pulled outside that was miserable. But yeah, there was some good fun had on that project, I remember. A lot of experience with terminations on that job. That's where I learned how to do them with Kelly Huffracker. Yeah. It's a wild west, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you have a family living in um, Monticello area. What, what, are you, what are your hobbies or things you do for fun? Well, we're a blended family. Uh, of five kids so it's pretty busy around our place uh, between all the kids and sports so That's what I used to mean. fish I used to <laughs> go out on the river almost every weekend uh, I don't get to really do much of that stuff anymore for the last yeah. 10 years pretty much I haven't got to do much but we'll get back to it it's uh, right now the kids are all into either one or two sports each and we're either driving to Des Moines for cheer competitions or we got basketball competitions or football comp uh, football meets or wrestling and it's it's pretty busy around our place every weekend we got something yeah that's crazy kids are sometimes we're going in different directions like <laughs> my wife might be taking a couple of them going to competition in Dubuque and I might have to go the other direction yeah and then meet up on Sunday or what? Yeah. <laughs> and if we're when we are home then we always run around in the dark or whatever we got to do because we got we got a just a little hobby farm yeah we got seven goats and we got right now currently two dogs but we're fostering two dogs for a place at Whispering Hope at a Dubuque that we oh. we adopted from and she was needing help so we're fostering too so we're pretty busy with two puppies and two full grown dogs and Jesus and all the, the goats and chickens what's and, the name of your farm? I don't, <laughs> I don't have a name <laughs> don't care that much yeah well that's what you gotta think of a name for the farm now I remember when I think one of the first times I met you, come hauling ass up to this house. We were wiring in your crotch rocket thing. <laughs> Little kid back then, that was funny. Yeah. You used how to, I got places fast. <laughs> yeah. Used to be zoom around on that thing. Yeah. Yeah, I got in a little bit of trouble on that thing. So <laughs> got rid of it. Yeah. Um, I guess one of the last questions I like to ask is like. Um, what do, what do you want people to like remember you or know you by, you know, in this industry that we work in, you know? I don't know, I guess that I've always tried my best, gave it my all every day and tried to help anybody out that needed help or when I could volunteer to 
go anywhere, help anywhere. Yeah. I don't I don't get to volunteer much anymore because most days we're working 10, 12 hour days and so I'm leaving 5 a.m. and I'm getting home anywhere from 5.30 at, or 6 o'clock at night to sometimes it's 8 o'clock. Yeah. Sometimes I'm, we get an emergency about the time I'm walking in the door and I got to turn around and leave again. <laughs> so I'm not home a lot during the week. Barely, don't get to see family. But, so my weekends are kind of my only days to get to see the family. So I, I don't volunteer much for weekends or holidays. Yeah, anymore. make it a priority. What, what I remember about you, because we've worked together quite a bit, is Dustin was always the morale guy. He could always keep a good morale on a job site. Keep it. We always worked hard, but we had fun doing it. So like the work hard, play hard core value is Dustin to a T. He likes to have fun. He likes to work hard. Be productive and good trainer. Make people feel part of the team. That was always one of your strongest points that I liked. But I think that's good good qualities to have. You know, build team. People want to work for you. For the most part, I think I do pretty well with that. Yeah. Uh, I think Tom's rubbed off on me a little bit. I'm turning <laughs> into a grumpy old man. But. That might happen with age, but yeah. Well, Price Team, Dustin, Dustin, Price Team. <laughs>